Greetings, I'm Rob Chapman. And I am Luke. Welcome to Papa Greg's Farm. Ta-da. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Pass back to Rob. Thank you very much. Sir. Important to, to reciprocate. Uh-oh. Cheers Boop. to all the guitar playing brethren. What have you got, Luke? I've got myself a Yamaha FGX3, which is the reissue of the Red Label line, for those who remember the Red Label um, determined by the sticker inside. And what do you have? Oh God, don't ask me that. It's first thing in the morning and I have to remember that it's a tailor. Oof. It's a beautiful tailor. It is indeed. This is the 326 CE Grand Symphony. Uh, this is the th- second most expensive acoustic guitar I think I've ever held in my hands. Wow. How much does it clock in for? It clocks in for a whopping two and a half K. Woo. This retails at 949 euros from our lovely good friends at Olympus as well. Uh, let's talk about the timbers first. You can yep. probably imagine and guess that the fretboard is made of ebony. Yep. Because it's made of ebony. Um, the top is made from tropical mahogany. But the interesting thing is that the sides are made from um, what they call urban ash. What that means is that Taylor are making a commitment to sustainable timbers and looking after the planet, which is great. And from time to time in California, there are occasions when they would need to remove an old tree or chop down a part of a tree just to keep people safe. And then this uh, back and sides wood is made of reclaimed Californian ash. So it's kind of cool. Italian acrylic in the fingerboard. It's got a really cool pickup system here. They, the, the scientists at Taylor, scientists, discovered that although most people so far thought that you put the crystals for your little pickup underneath the nut because they figured that the nut goes up and down. Actually, it turns out science was wrong and that the nut doesn't go up and down because the string pressure holds it in place, and which is why you get tiny vibrations and then a thin, brittle sound. Okay. And so Taylor went, nah, it's not going to go underneath the nut. It's going to go behind the nut, which is where I prefer it. So the little uh, neodymium uh, crystals that drive your Star Trek spaceship are behind... <laughs> the nut, which actually goes backwards and forwards like a pendulum. Exactly. Would you believe that? Yep. It's the truth. So apparently it gives a warmer, richer sound yes. when you plug it into your Universal Audio preamp. We're going to find out. Yep. The expression system too, if not mistaken. You know it? a lot about acoustic guitars, sir. I can tell this immediately okay, from your, your gait. A little bit. It's the, it's the beard and the curly it's locks. The beard and the cur- yes. <laughs> and the scarf that makes it look more acoustic you know. This Yamaha, as I mentioned earlier, is an FGX3. It has a solid spruce top, mahogany back and sides, and mahogany neck as well. It has, um, it's been, well, its build process has been gone through the ARE uh, procedure, which is a torification process of wood. Um, that Yamaha applies to its guitars to give it that um, warm, vintagey sound. It's baked. It is. Yeah. In like a lot of people in Malta right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ebony fingerboard and bridge. You have open gear Goto tuners. Goto, Goto. 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 Well, you can call them Goto if you want. Goto. Because the sound's like something you <laughs> <can> cling on. <laughs> um, a lovely transfer cover which says since 1966, paying homage to the old FG series. Last one before I forget. It has the atmosphere. Atmosphere. Yes, that's what they call it. Atmosphere oh, pickup man. system. Three knobs here as well, um, which do not actually uh, tell you what they do, but there is this little plastic label here. But which... at least you got for the duration that you leave that label on uh, uh, to work yes. out what they yeah. do. Um, mic blend, master volume, and bass EQ. We'll find out later how they nice. sound. Yeah, we, we're just we're mic'd up, as you can probably see, yeah. to give you some acoustic tones. And then we're going to plug these directly into this Universal Apollo X4. If you haven't got a Universal Apollo X4, where even have you been for the last couple of years? <laughs> Maybe at home all the time, <laughs> locked down, <laughs> wishing you had a Universal Apollo X4. Uh, go for it, bro. Let's hear some nice Lovely. tones. <laughs> I love strumming. Big chords on these uh, kind of Just so that you know, that's slamming the preamp like a mofo, and you want to strum just a <laughs> tiny bit less strummy. I got overexcited. You got too much, too much power in your Maltese palm.
some uh, picking with a pick. From here, which is an unusual angle to listen to an acoustic style, sure. it sounds sure. really nice. But on to mine. I'm not going to play it as nicely as Luke because I don't really play acoustic very much, to be That's honest. That's what you always say. It's true. <laughs> Somebody bought, um, you know, Meta. What did he buy? The Metaverse. He didn't buy the Metaverse. But you know, do you know what Metaverse <laughs> yes, is? Yes. Yeah. So somebody, Snoop Dogg's got a house in the Metaverse, and somebody <laughs> paid half a million to buy the house next to him in the Metaverse to be his neighbour. In in nothing. It, it, that's what I was going to say. Where is this physically? Because I don't know. It can't be physically. But I'm loving the whole NFT Metaverse. Yes. It's so creative and interesting. Is. Yeah. In fact, Oof. I might have an NFT coming. Uh, Mella. I guess up to my bro Sticks, Zardinia. Yes, it's, it's very rich. warm. Very. Yeah. There is a warmth, but it's a balanced warmth. Yeah. It isn't muddy. Full bodied all around. Yeah. Maybe feel like ordering a platter, going to a strip club, getting some whiskey. What time is it? Oh, it is strip club time. It's quarter to twelve. Quarter to noon. Okay. <laughs> Shall we uh, plug these into our interface? Yes. Interface. That was quick. What Indeed powerful was. snaps you have. We are now immediately plugged in to, as you can see here, uh, into the universal audio. Strip. Hit it, Luke. Of 
powerful rhythm hand man. Is it, is it peaking? <laughs> it, well, it was like, it was going, eh, eh. Let me try again. Do, do it again, do it again. Now, of course, we'll have no idea how this is really sounding because it's just going straight into our preamp interface. Yep. But sounded good from where I'm sat. Yep. You could tell Luke's played a thousand weddings, <laughs> bar mitzvahs or whatever, parties, because he, he plays an acoustic like it needs to be heard amongst a crowd of loud Maltese people. Yes. Catering um, for different situations with lack of PA and not PA. Yeah. Yes. So. <laughs> Acoustic mate. <laughs> hey, <laughs> no, I don't really play. I think it probably is going to sound great, but we're not going to know until we listen back. Yep. Um, before we go though, because uh -huh. I can tell people are itching to go and get a get a beer. Should yes. we have a beer? Here you go. There's your boom, <laughs> boom, chisk. The yeah. only beer beverage you should ever drink. I want to show you the case that this comes in. Awesome. Because it comes in. Um, actually, before we go to the case, uh -huh. I forgot to mention one thing about this guitar. Um, it has one of the three switches as a mic blend. So this is one of the guitars wh whose pickup system actually features a mic and an undersided pickup. Uh -huh. So you can either go all the way left, which is the pickup, or the mic. Obviously from this side, we only heard the same thing played twice, but now we'll see. On the recording, <laughs> on the yeah, recording, yeah. How different that's actually that, sounded. For all I know, mm -hmm. mine does the same, but it doesn't say, and I wasn't studious Good. enough yes. to look it up past the exciting tone. I notes. think that's actually volume, treble, and bass. It probably but. is. So yeah, it's lovely and hard. It says Taylor guitar C and C case on the side, um, and then you know, basically, when you get a hard case, it's exciting because you can kind of go ah! and look at all the lovely soft interior that you wish you could sleep in, you know, you get your little tags. Do you know what's things. the most divine part about cases like these? Sheesh. The smell. Oh yeah. Oh it's giving me Oof. it's giving me Play-Doh yeah. and that orange perfume you get when you buy a new laptop from Definitely. Apple. I think it's made by TKL cases which have that little perfume. I wish I wish they could literally just bottle a perfume of TKL scent. Well you know what Luke it's your lucky day because we've got chess. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I've been Rob Chapman. And I've been Luke. Welcome back to Papa Greg's Farm. Please stay. Please Indeed. subscribe if you would like to watch more videos like this. Yes, please. Uh, we've got Ibanez, eight strings coming up. Luke's never played one. And we've got uh, some cool things, including bass guitars. Yes. If Ooh. anyone plays those anymore. Yep. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>